Folks, the grace of God is connected with what God has done for you and will do for you through His Son. Romans chapter 3, verse number 24. This is my personal favorite verse to define grace. Romans 3, 24. Being justified freely by His grace. Now, by the way, that word freely is real important there. Romans 6, 23, he says, the, the wage of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. You know what a gift is? Romans 5, he talks about the free gift. <laughs> when you get a gift, you know what you paid for it? Nothing. Somebody paid for it. Somebody bought it. They gave it to you without a charge, freely. That's why Ephesians is going to say, it's, not, it's, it's the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. You see, this is God's free gift to us, being justified freely, look at the rest of it, by His grace. <laughs> now, where does grace come from? Through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. You've got to understand, folks, God's grace doesn't come to you through what you do, what someone does for you, in, in a human, humanly speaking, it comes from one source. It comes from what God has done for you through the cross work, the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Look over at chapter Romans chapter 8, verse 32. Romans 8, verse 31 and 32. What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Well, a lot of people can be against you. <laughs> Go out on a street corner and talk to the world out there and see and tell them about tell them about what God says. You'll find a whole bunch of people will be against you. But the idea is, if God's for you, who can be successfully against you? That's going to change what God thinks. Nobody. Why? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. If he did that, and he gave the best that he had, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? If you have the Lord Jesus Christ, you have the best the Father has. You have the one in whom the Father finds all of his delight and all of his joy. The one whom he say, says has the preeminence, the first place in everything. And if he gave you him, what else would you lack? Nothing. How shall it not with him freely give you all things? Why? Because all things are in him. That's why that verse up there says you're complete in him. You're blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. You see, it's not something you work for. It's not something you strive for. It's not something you're on probation to see if you're going to get. It's something God gives you in his, by grace, by all that God can do for you through the finished work of his son. That's where salvation is. Salvation is not in what we do, it's in what He has accomplished for us.